Guys, before we get into the video, I would like to mention that I am like a nut. And by nut, I mean like a conspiracy theorist. So like all of this is speculation. What I mean by that is that Tour Dog, if you guys are looking for more leaked content, there is no leaked content here. This is based like it's all in my head, guys. It's all in my freaking head. I'm just a crazy guy that's coming up with a couple of crazy theories, okay? And so with all of that being said, hi, welcome back to another Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about Smokey actually. For you guys who don't know who Smokey is, Smokey is this lovely lady. She does show up in the event if you guys have been reading the stories and she's also on the homepage of the event however what i really want to talk about in regards to smoky is what i think she is going to turn out to be and it's funny because it's not smoky that actually triggered this thought it's actually the genevieve uh the release the what is it the no it's not a leak oh my god i need to stop saying leak it was the genevieve reveal that kind of got me thinking about this and so to understand why i think smoky is what i think she is we need to go through genevieve and then we need to go through a couple of the different other characters before we can land on my conclusion and so from all of this what i really want to bring your attention to is the fact that Genevieve is a converter. However, being a converter, she does not appear to actually have anything to do with converting like the tiles on the ground. And so that's really interesting because like up until now, I've always thought like Smokey is probably going to convert like the other two color tiles that are different from Icy. Either that or she could potentially be like an Iridin or like be a really busted cross converter, something like that, right? However, the interesting thing about Genevieve's kit is that she has a teleport so she can teleport to any location in any three by to grid. And so a lad from my Discord actually brought something really, really interesting up. And that's kind of like the tool tip uh, in terms of what the converters actually are. So again, remember converter, teleport, and then I'm going to show you this screenshot right here. And before we get into the screenshot, a little plug for my Discord. If you guys have not joined, come and I'll give you free candy. Link is in the description below. But anyway, let's get back to it. So read over here. Converters are exports who control the alchemy board. And this is the most important statement. They can change the elements of the tiles on the alchemy board or change their own positions. Change their own positions that's literally what a teleport is right you can you can dip around right and so that's really interesting because it kind of tells you that a lot of characters that have teleports as their core skills are going to be classified as converters and the reason that i put it like that is because there are definitely a lot of units that do have teleports that are not classified as converters and from my observations that is because that's not really like their core part of their kit it's not really what they were designed to do it's just the teleport is kind of like an extra add-on and so yeah that's where i got the inspiration from the teleport from Genevieve and the fact that she is a converter. And so it's really exciting, right? Because we are finally getting our first fire converter. And so fire is just prop. I would say fire is like the strongest element right now. It's going to have everything. It's going to have like all the conversion types. It's got defense down. It's got like the best detonators in my opinion. It's got decent healing, especially with Alice. And then we finally got some teleports as well. And so where exactly am I going with this? First, I do want to show more evidence that like converters can be teleporters or rather teleporters can be converters. And so over here, we've got Peppy. So if I scroll down, this is just the, the Vice Heroku app, the database. And as you can see, Peppy is a converter. So look at that bad boy right there. On top of that, if I go to Dove and I scroll down, Dove is also a converter. And you guys already know, Dove is a teleporter. She only teleports, Peppy only teleports, Eho only teleports. They do not do any tile conversions at all. And so we know now, we know that teleporters uh, generally are going to be converters if the teleport is their core skill. And so if you do have a look at any of like these other skills or like the other effects, like there is nothing really that stands out aside from the teleport. However, here is the interesting part. So when I go over to Phyllishai, so Phyllishai does have a teleport. She has a global teleport. But on top of that, she does healing, she does the shields, and she does even more healing. Like she, I would say that she is a lot more healer than she is a teleporter. And it is for that reason that she is actually classified as a support and not a converter. And that's freaking awesome. And that is what I mean by kind of like the add-on, like the all like the more stacked units, the units that just give you more value just by being in the team, right? She doubles up as a team. Uh, as a TP, as a teleporter TP, as well as a healer, right? However, she cannot do any damage at all. So that is kind of her downside. On the other hand, I do want to show you two more units. So the first one is uh, Michael over here. So Michael, you guys already know Michael. Michael is on the triple R banner right now. Michael also technically has a global teleport, can dash to any selected location on the field. However, everything else, like her main core purpose is to deal big damage, like big, big damage. And so that really is reflected in her role. She is a detonator. And then the last character that I do want to show you guys to drive that point home is uh, Sharona over here. So Sharona is exactly the same, right? She can teleport to a selected location. Yeah, she's a teleporter. No, she's not. She's actually a detonator. Everything in her skill set 
is like, it's all damage. She does so much damage, right? She does a whole bunch of damage, right? But she still has a teleport. And so that's why I think these characters are like so high value because not only do they do their like core role really well. So like a detonator, Sharona does a lot of AOE damage. She has the AOE damage in her active skill. She's got the AOE damage like in the equipment as well as the chain combo. She just does a lot of AOE damage. And on top of that, she also is getting like a skill that is from another class. And so in that regard, I would call Sharona, I would call Michael like a detonator and a half. And that is just so freaking good, right? So in a way, Sharona, Michael are kind of similar to Hero because Hero is also very similar to that, right? So if we go over to Hero, Hero has conversion, yes. And I do know that that threw a lot of people off because she was converting cells. But at her core, she is a damage dealer. She is a detonator. She does big damage. She has the stats of a detonator, 3.1k attack and like a whole bunch of defense and HP. If you do compare her to other six star converters, you'll realize their attacks are like 2.5k, 2.4k. And so yeah, guys, like Hero is another character that I would call like a detonator and a half. And so I do have a video that is coming out based on all of this, like the Hero, the Sharona, the Michaels, all of these like extremely high value six stars, like especially with these extra bits of utility. And so guys, stay tuned for that. If you haven't subbed yet, sub down below, you know what I'm saying? There's a little, uh, you know, but yeah, all of these observations, all of these theories, I know I do sound like a conspiracy nut right now. All of this combined is making me think that where is Smokey? That Smokey is gonna be a teleporter. I've been lurking the streets, you know, the streets, aka the discords. There is a lot of speculation as to what Smokey is gonna be, what her archetype is gonna be. And the general consensus, the general rumor is like, oh my god, okay, from the color of her shirt, I think she's gonna be a converter. I'm not saying I've seen any leaks or anything. I'm not saying I've seen any unreleased content. What I am saying, however, is that the general sentiment in the community right now is that Smokey is probably gonna be a converter. I have no idea where it's coming from at all. I, I have no idea. I have no idea at all. But what I am going to do as a conspiracy nut is choose to believe them. And so therefore, from Smokey being a converter, and then with this Genevieve popping up as a converter with the teleport, and combined with the fact that Icy is already filling that four tile conversion for like the fire type element, I don't think Smokey is going to do this. I think Smokey is going to do this. Something like this, right? I think that Smokey is going to have a teleport and she might have tile conversion. On the other hand, Smokey could have a little bit of damage to kind of like, kind of be like the same as Genevieve, right? So if we have a look at this, teleports to any location in any three by two grid from its current position diagonally. And this is really interesting. Actually, I want to show you guys something. And it's this diagram over here. So shout out to Silver for this one. Thank you. Again, the same guy that educated me on this one over here, he guesses that this is probably what the range of the Genevieve teleport teleport skill is going to look like. And to be honest, like when I read this skill and I look at this, I'm like, yeah, I, I think that's exactly what it's going to be like. And so yeah, another plug for my discord. We do have candy guys. Come on. But yeah, back to the discussion. So this is probably what we're going to see for Genevieve's like teleport range. But again, that's not what I'm focusing on. What I'm focusing on is like if the core skill of this converter is a teleport, then we've also got some like additional stuff. So in the same way that like uh, Michael, the core skills of Michael is like AOE damage, the add on for Michael is a global teleport. And so using that kind of logic and coming back over here, Genevieve's core skill is to teleport around. And then her less impactful part, her add-ons is going to be an extra bit of little damage. And so this guy over here dealing 150% damage to one surrounding cluster of the target location. And then on top of that, after using an active skill, chain combo range increases by one cluster this round. Oh, baby. And chain combos can attack all enemies in the range. Wait, that, wait, that's actually really freaking good. On top of that, when hitting only one enemy, this skill will be cast one more time this round. Okay, okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Maybe this should be a Genevieve video because Genevieve is starting to sound really, really freaking stacked. As you can see down here, we've got the Burn It Down, which is deals 135% damage to two enemies within two surrounding clusters. And so this is like really reminiscent of like your sniper kind of archetype. And like on top of that, the last sentence of this active skill, where if Genevieve is only hitting one enemy, she's going to be able to actually cast the skill again. To me, that just screams sniper, and that's really cool, to be honest. However, guys, do remember that converters do have lower attack, so do expect that Genevieve's attack is probably going to be in, like, the 2200 to 24, maybe 2500 range. And so, especially for, like, the higher level content, like, Genevieve cannot replace your damage dealers. But yeah, all of that, I think that's really good. I feel like the core skill of Genevieve is the teleport, and then she also has a nice side of add-ons of damage. Hey, wait a second, what the frick? It recovers the team's HP by an amount equal to 
18% of the damage dealt. All right, guys, Genevieve is now officially a healer as well. What the frick? Like, seriously, this is like, wait a second. This is so overloaded. Why in the world did they give her a heal as well? So she's got a teleport. She's got like a really decent like attack offensive kit. But on top of that, she is also going to recover team's HP, making her like a pseudo healer. And what I mean by pseudo healer, I'm talking about like the Victoria or like the Icy, right? The characters that aren't really like your dedicated healers, but like heal a little bit, a little bit of lifesteal, you know what I'm saying? And on top of that, she also increases the chain combo damage dealt by fire Aurorians by 10%. Genevieve is so stacked. Oh my God. I, I hope her stats like compensate. Maybe they lower her stats a little bit for this because I don't know about you guys, but she has damage amplification. She has a heal, although it is a pseudo heal. Like it's not like a true heal. It's she's got a teleport and she's got like offensive boosting capabilities. And it looks like she does a lot of damage on her own as well. What the frick? What the heck? That's a, that's a, what? <laughs> Wait a second. What? Okay. 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 So, so can we expect then that Smokey is going to be as stacked as this, except that Smokey is potentially a six star instead of a five star. So she might have all of this and more. To be honest, guys, even though my name is Conspiracy Not Lace, I don't think that that is going to be the case. I'm looking at this kit and like, I've not seen anything that has this much utility in it before. I personally think that Genevieve, this character over here with this massive stacked kit, I think she is an outlier, to be honest. I personally don't think that Smokey is going to be like this. I think she's going to be more like the teleport as the core skill with some offensive capabilities as the add-on. So I think Smokey is going to have something like this, right? Something that is going to like let her do a little bit more damage. And I think that damage is going to be greater than what Genevieve can pump out. However, I don't think they're going to give her like damage amplification as well as healing as well on the equipment skill or in any way. Like, I don't think that she's going to get this. This is an outlier. This Genevieve is oh, what the frick? She's looking a bit too stacked. All right, guys, I think uh, that's that's enough conspiracy theories for me today, guys. Like, seriously, what the frick? And so with all of that being said, to be honest, there's a lot more to be said, but I'm going to wrap up the video here because if I don't, I'm going to keep going on and on because like there's so much there's so many possibilities as to what could be like especially for smoky and so yeah let's turn off conspiracy not lace so uh and with that all done let's start wrapping up this video i've got a secret question for you guys and that is what do you think smoky is going to be what do you think her class type is going to be what do you think her skills are going to be do you reckon she's going to be like a jack of all trades a lot of utility everything do it all genevieve or do you think they're going to turn it back a little bit make her a little bit more simple and so guys let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and i would really appreciate that because it means you've watched up until the end of the video and so thank you guys so much but on top of that please consider a like a sub a comment you guys already know what it is support the channel by being a member or having a look at the affiliate links down in the description below but as genevieve once said all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video bye bye